here's a new video a couple of people have requested on after the root how you're able to load ROMs and well the answer is safe strap and I will put a link in the description on where to get it um, but it's an APK file and as you know it's an application file and you can install it by simply downloading the APK I have it in my SD card as you can see and just installing it I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that right now and I'll also show you what you can do afterwards so let's go ahead and get started with the installation I'm gonna open up the APK and it says you want to install and then just select install now go ahead and do the installation okay now it's done so I'm gonna go ahead and open it now it's probably gonna ask you for a super user access and that's where your whole root comes in so hopefully you have your your root working properly and you can allow this to work so you will need root access so I'm gonna just do remember this choice forever go ahead and select allow and just agree you can read it and I will install recovery I have installed it once before I completely uninstalled it and then just installed it again and it's as easy as selecting that second option you see back there um, and it will uninstall SafeStrap but what I have noticed is it does take some room in your SD card um, or whatever you use to install your secondary ROMs uh, onto and I do say secondary because this actually allows you to kind of do a dual boot on your phone uh, you will have your insecure ROM which would be your stock ROM the one that's that you have right now basically and then you'll have slots for other ROMs and in there you can just in the safe strap menu which I will show you here in a second you'll be able to switch back and forth so that's it for that so now what I will do is I will turn off the phone so I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the power off menu power it off I'll shut it down now I'm gonna go to the webcam and show you how it looks when it's booting up and how it looks in the menu because I can't screen cap the phone whenever it's off so I'm gonna go ahead and close this and we'll go over to the webcam okay so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and it will boot like normal there you go okay so then you come to this menu and you want to hit the menu key right here and it'll, you'll feel it vibrate. If you hit the search button, it'll just continue you on to the normal boot of your phone. So here we are. And you have multiple options and this is your safe strap recovery. So here we are in the menu. And right now what I have, let me take a look real quick. Now if you see up top right here it says ROM slot is stock. So that's the stock menu that I have. Um, that's what you were just using a minute ago so you can back up you can restore you can mount you can wipe you, you could do all these things but for right now I'm just gonna show you really quick if you hit boot options you'll see you have your stock ROM and you have ROM slot 1 so we'll hit ROM slot 1 and you can do an activation and this is where you would install your ROM is in this slot 1 and you can I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back button and you can install your ROM in any one of these slots it doesn't matter but I like to go in order so you know I'll do one and all I have to do is hit activate and I'm gonna go ahead and do it just for demonstration purposes I'm gonna do it and now you see up top it says ROM slot set for one so this is kinda like your multi booting um, I said dual booting but it's more of a multi boot because you can install more than one ROM so um, now one is activate you can set the nickname if you want to name it if you want to try different ROMs at all at one time you can you can boot into multiple ones you can test them out you can do anything you want and it won't affect your main stock ROM so your stock ROM will stay the same all the time and usually that's like the most stable ROM uh, so now that you have slot one uh, selected you can go back and usually what you have to do is you have to wipe your ROM slot you know your cache your Dalvik all that stuff factory settings all this stuff just follow the ROM's instructions for that and it'll tell you but it's all here once you're ready to install the ROM after you've done your wiping just click on install usually what you do is just do up a level and up a level okay and you can scroll through and usually um, 
most people put their ROMs in the external so you just do select SD external and then you can do it so just up a level if you can't find your external card it'll be um, in here slide down wherever you see your uh, a root and boot and all that stuff just scroll down SD external it'll be right there and then you can select whatever ROMs in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go back to stock and then just stock ROM and then activate and that's it and I'm back into stock so you can just switch out through them and I'm gonna go ahead and do the home and reboot and then just uh, reboot the system and I'll actually get it to reboot and actually get back into my stock ROM or stock Android so it says safe drive disabled that's because the custom ROM ain't in I'm gonna do the uh, search button which allows it to just progress and then you'll see and now my stock ROM is booting and that's all there is to it I really do apologize about how it looks without the screen capturing on the computer monitor I really can't do anything about it my webcam is total crap right now so but yeah hopefully that helps you guys and it shows you how to install the ROMs and such how to install safe strap and from there you can install your ROMs just follow the directions that each ROM gives you to do it usually you have to just wipe it wipe that ROM slot and install it right there in that slot and that will allow you to install multiple ROMs if you want and it'll just be partitioning off your SD card or whatever storage you have and you can install multiples and your stock ROM which is usually the most stable will always be there so if you have any more questions if, if you would like me to show you how to install an actual ROM then I'll be more than glad to help you do that all you have to do is just leave a comment down below I'm usually really good at responding to everyone that comments just like this video and subscribe and that'll let me know you want more thank you and you have a good one